Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. Um, I guess I'm just trying to talk through the cold. Um, I've done a, a couple videos today. And I decided to go ahead, since I just got this animal totem tarot yesterday, to go ahead and do a deck interview with it. It's my first one in a while. And uh, so yeah, let's get into it. So if you're just tuning in, usually I do a meditative breathing and then pull the cards. As you can see, I gave you guys a rest from that because every time I started trying to breathe, I would have a coughing fit and you don't want to hear all that. So <clears throat> I already pulled the cards. I just haven't looked at them. But this is the tarot spread we're going to do. It's the one I've been doing with all my deck interview spreads. It's five cards. And the first card is, what brought you to me? And so that's this one here. And oh my gosh, it's the lover's card. Beautiful. And it's funny because I just did, uh, I actually just watched the walkthrough on the last one I did, which was the Mystic Medleys this morning. And the first card was the lover's card. It was the same card. <laughs> and as I've said in that video, it's the same kind of deal. Um, it's a, a the lover's card for me because the lover's was my uh, card of the year a couple of years ago. I think for 2020, the lover's card was my card of the year. And it reminded me that it's sometimes not about love with, you, with someone else. It's about your self-love. And this one to me depicts even more so the loving all the parts of yourself, even the darker parts. You need to, to learn to embrace those parts and love all of you. And I love that. <clears throat> and so for this question, <coughs> what brought you to me? Um, there's a, a self-love here that needs to, again, um, it's going to teach me about self-love. So I love that. So number two is how can we best work and collaborate together? And I drew the two of pentacles. Why is that? I don't know why that's a little blurry. Why that's so blurry? Oh, now it's straight. That's a beautiful card. And again, to me, this is balance. The two of pentacles is all about balance to me. <laughs> and again, this is a card. Um, uh, it's no stranger to me. <laughs> Um, I pulled the two of pentacles a lot in, I think, the same year that the lover's card was my card of the year. Um, because it was trying to teach me balance. Um, I need to learn to balance everything. Instead of going gung-ho on one, one scale or the other, I need to learn to balance them equally. So I found that very fitting that this specific animal deck is letting me know this is how we can best collaborate and work together is to balance, we balance each other out. Um, so I love that, love that, love that so much. So number three, what is the, the first impression of me? And I got the chariot. Wow. The chariot is my soul card. Um, I just ended my chariot year. So I just find that very fascinating that this is the card this that came out <laughs> for this particular question. That's very fascinating. Because it's recognizing that I have a driving force inside of me that can sometimes get run away with myself. Um, and I love that. <coughs> Excuse me. So number four, what kind of reading are you best suited for? What kind of reading are you best suited for? And we got the Six of Cups. And I had the Six of Cups. I think it was for this one in the last spread. But the Six of Cups is, to me, all about nostalgia, remembering your childhood. This looks like a cute little family of otters just having a good time. I don't know why it's like, yeah. Having a good time with their cups. So cute. Um, and again, I get this sense of... Uh, um, familial um, aspect to the card. It's going to help work through family issues. So that is very interesting that that is what comes up for this specific question. Uh, what kind of readings are you good for or well suited for? And to me it's family, family drama, family issues, um, which makes sense to me. Um, or maybe even getting stuck in the past, learning to let go of the past. It's a big one. <clears throat> I'm 
So number five, what kind of relationship can I expect with you? What kind of ex relationship can I expect with you? And I think under the King of Wands and the other, uh, maybe it was the King of Pentacles. Um, I feel like I'm drawing a lot of the same cards, which is weird. But King of Wands, um, what kind of relationship can I expect with you? <coughs> and again, I'm getting passion. Ignite your passion. Ignite your fire. It's going to help me relearn to ignite that passion, that fire within me. And I love that concept of that card. So, that's my spread. I'm going to go ahead and draw a oracle card from my Earth Magic Oracle deck. Just because it's all about the Earth. This deck is a very animal deck, as you can see. So, is there any other questions, comments, concerns you have? Or anything you want to tell me uh, about this spread? Any other concerns or questions or answers about the spread? We got activation and wind. And I feel like this is the same thing with the King of Wands. Is this deck will help activate that passion, that fire, that drive that I once had. Um, and maybe that's why I got it now. Because I just ended my chariot year. And we're moving into this, this kind of year where um, I've already done the self-love. Um, and I've already learned to balance things out. And I've already went through the chariot year where I was drugged behind. Now it's time to face issues and take action. Um, and activate that um, inside of me. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> um, and I just want to here read real quick. Wherever I stuck it. The... Um, uh, what it says for the lovers and the chariot in the item to animal totem tarot. I'm not going to read everything because there's a lot about it. But I do want to read the what they have to say to me. Because each one of them have their own little paragraph that they are telling you. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Here, get to it. Oh my gosh. Hierophant. It's before the lovers. It's next. So the lovers. Look at that. It's a full page. Black and white. Beautiful. I'm just going to read this little caption here. It says, Come be with me and I, I and let you and let me marvel in the you that is all magnificent. When we come together, it is not so that we can feel something in each other, but instead stand in our own glory and know that together we can create something magical. Let the contrast of our individual states Create the perfection in our togetherness. And that's the message from this one. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And then let's go to the chariot, which is the next card. Um, there's a lot here. <laughs> Do you truly understand how movement works? Do you understand the ripple effect and consequences of the movements you make? Wow. Each time you step, jump, or change direction, you cause a ripple. A ripple that will eventually come back to you, carrying with the energy that created it. This means that you have to pay just as much attention to the energy that cr creates your movement <coughs> as the direction of the movement itself. Focused, controlled movements means focused, controlled ripples. Uncontrolled, fear-driven movements create haphazard, fear-driven ripples. What energy is coming back to you? And that's the message from the Orca. Wow, that's beautiful. And it's, again, to me, speaking of this um, King of Wands energy and that. So, that is my latest deck interview. If you guys have this deck and let me know how you work with it, either of these decks. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And y'all have a good night. Bye.